Today is February the 9th, 2022, currently 5.39 p.m. I just got off the phone with Comfort Dental. I believe that's the name of the dentist's office. I've been going to for a while to get my dentures, partials, upper and bottom. Um, Medicaid, they submitted um, for an approval for Medicaid to cover for my dentures, and Medicaid approved it. Okay. I've seen one, two, three different dentists in the same office. Um, I guess they are, um, it's a clinic of dentists, different dentists. So sometimes you can see one dentist, the next day you can see a different one. Well, the original one, um, I believe her name is Amanda, the dentist. Um, she recommended, because she, she wanted to save as many as teeth possible. So she decided to save this canine and these two, um, one of the back two. I have basically in the recipe pulled. Okay, because of my anxiety, which I told them, I said I wanted to take my time getting them pulled. Because, as you know, dentists don't like to really treat pain, and I didn't want to be in a lot of pain, considering I'm already in enough with my lupus. So, I guess from what they told me, um, Dr. Amanda doesn't work there no longer. So, I started seeing an Asian doctor, Dr. Kim. Okay, her treatment plan was the same as Dr. Amanda's, um, where all the top teeth except that one back tooth, upper uh, right back tooth, and my canine be saved. Well, just the other day when I've been in to have this last upper right tooth to be removed, which will leave me with two teeth at the top, she decided to do a deep cavity filling uh, where she said she could save that tooth. And then after she did it, she made a comment, um, you're gonna, it's going to be very sensitive, and she ran out. And I said, excuse me? And she ran out. Well, Two, a few days after I had that procedure done, I've been experiencing excruciating pain where I'm talking about my whole face is dropping. I went into the office today um, at the dentist's office, and they was packed. And I said, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but I'm in a lot of pain. Can I be seen to get numbed? Or maybe you guys need to call me in some stronger pain medicine or what? Now, keep in mind, she didn't put me on no antibiotic. Um, the ma I had to get the manager to come up to the front and the manager, which I didn't get her name. She was like, well, let me go talk to the dentist. She said, they busy right now. You just have to wait. I said, how long? She said, 10 minutes. I was in there for almost 45 minutes to an hour. I still haven't been called back. All these people's been called back except me. I mean, you can just numb me. I'm in a lot of pain. Okay. Woo. I want to cry, but it's like, I can't cry no more. So long story short, I, I couldn't bear it no more because keep in mind, I'm, I'm at work. I got to get my kids from school. You know, I'm hurting. That's the thing. I'm hurting. So I tell the manager, I said, I, I, I'm, I'm going to just go to the ER because I'm in a lot of pain. And if the worst was to happen, if I was to have a stroke or go on a cardiac arrest from my blood pressure being too high, at least I'm in the hospital. Because the way you guys is moving, you don't, you don't want to get me out of pain to prevent anything. So I go to Deaconess Hospital. Okay, um, she gave me, she prescribed me an antibody to fill. Okay, as you see, yes, I was at the hospital. So as I was in the ER, the manager calls me from the dentist's office, and she said, um, Yolanda, um, um, your treatment plan has changed. I said, what? She said, you need to have all your upper top teeth removed in order for us to give you your dentures. I said, what? That wasn't according to my treatment plan. How are you going to change my treatment plan without me being present? And on top of that, if the dentist had time to discuss to change my treatment plan today, he had time or she had time to see me, to get me out of this pain. Something is not making sense. Make it make sense. So she said, well, I'm letting you know that, you know, your, all your teeth needs to be removed or we are not going to give you your dentures because we don't feel comfortable. I said, but you're not a dentist or a doctor, correct? She said, no, I'm just an office manager. So how can you tell me what I need to get done? And, and why are you forcing me, retaliating, like, um, like almost like blackmailing me? She said, intimidation? She said, what do you mean? I said, when you telling me that if I don't consent to this treatment, plan change as of today, and I didn't even see the dentist today, that I'm not going to get my dentures that my insurance paid for. She said, well, uh, you didn't give me time to talk. Oh, I was in there for almost 45 minutes, and I was in a lot of pain, and I'm surprised I stayed that long. So I gave you plenty of time to talk to me, or for the dentist to talk to me, and evidently they didn't want to talk to me. So long story short, we on the phone, the, the ER, nurses, the center, all that, you know, and then she's going to make a comment. Well, um, 
I just clocked out, so I don't, you know, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I said, you just clocked out, so now you don't have time to continue to talk. But you had time to talk knowing I was in the ER. You you hindering the care I need that y'all didn't want to give me. So long story short, I said, how are you going to tell me that I can't get my dentures if, if y'all changing my plan if I don't get this done? I can see if you saying that the teeth are bad. You know, keep in mind, I just need one upper tooth pull and then that's it you know for my upper part and they already feel this tooth to save it and they feel both of these teeth which one of them they shouldn't have felt they should have pulled so that's causing me more pain and you billing my insurance more money I, I i shouldn't have had to deal with these cavities being filled if they needed to come out okay so it's all a money game it's all making me suffer so, long story short, when we got off the phone respectfully, I called Comfort Mental to schedule to say, you know what, I'm just going to deal with it. I'm going to just see if they can get me in tomorrow to remove all these top teeth because I don't want to be in pain. Well, when I just got, oh, when I was on the phone with you, Maya, can you run in the house and give me ibuprofen, please, baby? Two of them. I'm sorry, I'm just going to so when I was on the phone, when I called them to say, okay, I'll just go ahead and make me an appointment tomorrow as soon as possible. Go ahead and get the top two removed because right now it's not really about the dentures, it's about me being paid. They're going to tell me that you're being dismissed from the clinic today. I said, what? After my insurance paying for my dentures? <laughs> God help me. So many wicked people in society these days. Oh, thank you, Lord. Help me, Lord. Oh, God. I want a beautiful smile. I just don't know the pain I'm going through right now. Dealing with these doctors that is retaliating against me and hindering me from the service and the care I need. But long story short, and they tell me you're being dismissed from the clinic and you're not going to get your dentures and we're not going to pull any of your teeth. We don't care that you're in pain. We don't care that you're not going to get your dentures. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Medicaid will only pay one time for you to get your dentures. Afterwards, you have to pay out of pocket. And I'm like, I don't like, I'm like, so are you going to refund me a check? Because come tomorrow, I'm going to come up there and I'm going to expect for you guys to write that check to Medicaid wrote y'all. I'm not going to wait for you to refund nothing to Medicaid. I am not going to go through this process to go through another dentist to have them do all that impression and stuff. None of it. <laughs> it's wrong. It is so wrong. It is so wrong. It is so wrong. And they doing this out of retaliation because my tooth that is infected, that that dentist changed plans instead of pulling it. She tried to do a cavity fill. Knowing it's infected, knowing it's going to hurt me. That's why she said it's going to be very sensitive and she ran out the room after she filled that tooth. They won't even treat me now. Because I was like, forget it, you know, I'll go ahead and let y'all pull whatever you got to pull tomorrow. You know, they going to neglect me like that and cause me pain. <laughs> all because they got a license, all because they got doctor in front of their name. It's okay to do someone like this. And I did not ask for this. <laughs> Then even the ER doctor said, she said, do you have a dentist? Because we don't do dental work in the ER. All she could do was write me an antibody because the dentist didn't write me none. So I'm just saying this, you guys. I know God is going to wipe my tears. And if it's not meant for me to have dentures, then God be almighty. As long as I'm healthy and strong. But no one should deal with this type of pain emotionally or physically under the hands of a doctor so hopefully this brings awareness to you guys and keep your head up